everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be making a dog toy and we're going to start that in just a moment. Here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be making a dog toy. So I want it mostly blue with just a bit of red. So I took some red and I just took a strip of material that's red. The rest is t-shirt yarn. I will put a link in the description for my tutorial how to make t-shirt yarn. So I'm going to go with the same length as this red that I have. Um, so you probably want to know how long that is. And it's usually about 30 inches, okay? Then I'm just going to match up the t-shirt yarn to the same length. If you go longer, that's fine. If you go shorter, that's fine. It just depends how big of a toy. Now this is a toy that is meant for a small dog, okay? So I do make big toys for bigger dogs, but this one is just for a little dog. So here we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the ends and we're gonna do what I call an overhand knot. I don't know if that's actually what it's called. If you know what that knot is called, please leave a comment in the, in the comments down there because it would be good to know what it's called. So what I do once I make the knot is I just pull all the ends at the top, make sure that knot is nice and tight, and then I pull all the threads at the bottom. Don't pull too hard that you break the t-shirt yarn. I have done it before. Now I'm going to use my clipboard and just attach it to my clipboard, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I divide my strips. So I'm going to put one at the top, one at the side, one at the other side, and one at the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is, the one at the top, I'm gonna use to make a loop, and the one at the bottom, I'm gonna use to make a loop. So now I have a loop at the top, a loop at the bottom. I'm gonna take the left cord and thread, thread it through the top loop. I'm gonna take the right cord and thread it through the bottom loop. Now I'm gonna use all of these to pull it tight. Okay, and I want all four colors showing. So see, I may have to zoom in on this, but let me just see here. If you look here, you will see all four colors are showing. Okay, I want to, you to continue this until you have it the length you want so that you can do another overhand knot. Do that and meet me back. Okay, so I'm back and I've got it to the length I want. So now I'm gonna do another overhand or whatever this knot is called. I wanna say it's an overhand knot. I should just Google it, right guys? Tell me in the comments if you think I should Google it. Okay, so we're gonna pull each strand tight like we did before, okay? So we're just gonna pull it tight. See, and some much tighter than others. See, like, see. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the leftover ends, I hope you can see this, and I'm just gonna tidy them up. And on the other end, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just tidy them up. And there you go, guys. You now have a dog toy. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check that description. Hit the like and subscribe if this was of any help for you. Thank you. Bye now.